waiting for, Winston? A formal invitation? Okay, Lenny, I'm coming. and we split. Only go for the small expensive stuff, right? What's that? T-shirts. Medium size. Push left your arm. Go and find something that's worth a bubble too. They got away with a few videos and a portable television. Could have been worse. Davros, there's a packet of shirts missing. You took some shirts. <laughs> one packet, all, only one packet. I, I, I'll bring it all back, please. Where does your friend live? The one who got away? I don't know. Tell me his name and where we can find him. Ziggy. His name is Ziggy. And he runs a store down Brew Street. I don't know where he lives. I swear on the book. <laughs> You seen him yet, Dempsey? Nope. The narcotics boys in New York confirmed he'd be on the flight. You sure you'll still recognize him? Yeah. Great conversationalist, isn't he, sir? I'm not sure I don't prefer that to verbal diarrhea, Sergeant Makepeace. If you get my meaning.
That's him. In the camel coat. Sure? Mm-hmm. Right. You boys will oblige by feeling that gent's collar. The rest, I trust, is arranged, Inspector. Yes, sir. We'll be able to pull him straight away. Mm -hmm. Under no circumstances must he be allowed near a telephone. Is that clear? Yes, sir. And when he goes down, he mustn't talk to anyone. The slightest squeak in Dempsey hears up the creek without a paddle. Understand? Yes, sir. I'm sorry for any inconvenience this may cause, Mr. Uh... Schwartz. The name is Schwartz. I'm German, isn't it? I'm third generation German. My great grandfather was German. I'm originally from Cincinnati, Ohio. What is this? Some kind of panel game? It's merely a routine spot check, sir. Nothing to get alarmed about. I'm not alarmed. I'm in a hurry. The plane was 20 minutes late. The party who's meeting me here isn't used to being kept waiting. This will only take a minute, sir. Now, if you'd care to open the case. It's unlocked. Open it yourself. This is your normal brand, sir. Things like toothpaste I leave to my secretary. Keen on decay, is she your secretary? I don't understand. Heroin, that's what. Your feet aren't going to touch the ground, sunshine. This way. Driver. I forgot my bag. Somebody die? Probably, Mr. Schwartz. Probably. My name is Merle. I trust you had an uneventful flight. Can we get down to business? Stop. I'm just getting to the good bit. Here's a fiver. Well, not that good. I've got a message from Ziggy. Ziggy? Hi, Ziggy. He's in a wee bit of bother. He wants to have a chat. Did he say what about? He didn't. He was short of breath at the time. called Schwartz, was met by Merle this morning. He'd just flown in from New York. So? The man Schwartz is ex-CIA and was involved in flying opium into Laos when Vietnam had finished. I remember those times. My brother was taken from our village by a Burmese officer. They took him to Kya Yin, a village in the No Pardo sector, where he was thrown into jail for four days. On the fifth day, hands tied behind his back, 
They dragged him through the village until he died. When we asked for the body, they refused. They said it was to be left for the wild animals to eat like all the human tongue. Schwartz was with them. He set it up. He was responsible. Do you wish me to make the necessary arrangements? No. Not yet. He's the broker. We'll wait until the deal's been struck. I have to see the face of the man who was responsible for my brother's death. He'll have come to set up the deal. Oh, he's good at that. Leave me. I have to make sure we have the money. Hello? Oriental Banking and Finance? Sir Charles Kershaw, please. No, it's personal. Sir Charles. Lyshan. Hello. I am collecting for Poppy Day. Hello, Charlie Three. He's gone into number 14 Hanover Terrace with the woman in the big Greek. Over. Charlie Three, be very careful. We're on thin ice. Over. Roger. Out. Dude, give me a heart attack or something. What's up? Jamila Horn said you wanted to see me. Yeah. A couple of mates of me did over a warehouse last night up Park Railway. I was driving. Anyway, someone got a drop on us and I drove off like a banshee. What'd you get? Oh, not a lot. A few videos and these things. But the other two got left behind sick and I don't know what's happened to them. Well, I should imagine they're safe and sound and eating Mick by now. Do us a favour. They won't be no Mick. All the stuff in that warehouse is off the back of a truck. They wouldn't have called a fuss. Reporting stolen property, stolen. Where exactly was this warehouse? Unit 12, Manor Road, Park Raw. But be careful, darling. I think they may be a bit heavy-handed, do you know what I mean? Well, I'll be in touch. If you hear anything, give me a bell. Here. Have her on the house. It's got you and Monica on it. Thanks, Ziggy. It's a new method, untried and untested until now. The T-shirts are impregnated with heroin, about half an ounce per garment. Untried and untested? What stage is it at? Stage four. Anything less than that is lethal, you should know that. Yeah, unless you want to chase the dragon. Chase the dragon? Yeah, that's when you smoke the small chips through a straw. It's 
come and practice with Southeast Asia, and you should know that. I'm sorry. I'm edgy. It's this missing packet of garments that's bugging me. The boys will be back soon. They'll have them. Detective Sergeant Makepeace. I understand there's been a robbery reported here. I'm sorry, Detective Sergeant. There's been no robbery. As you can see, there's very little stock. Well, my information must be wrong. I'll be on my way. I'm not sure that's possible. You see, I think you're too far into the lion's den. I'll get it. Why you? It's my deal. Well, take the rolls, Davros, you drive. Listen, Huey, you're talking silly money. For King Solomon's mines, I want more than just a name. So screw your nut and come up with some details. Good grass thinks he's Wembley turf all of a sudden. Harry's up the creek, sir. Charlie Five, I think I need some muscle and quick. I'm making for my flat with a Rolls Royce and hot pursuit. Over. All stations, Charlie. Cease transmission until further notice. Harry, what's the problem, girl? Over. I followed a lead of Ziggy's. He's one of my informants. He did a job last night with two mates, but they were disturbed. The stuff in the warehouse was hot, and he thinks that his mates may be in trouble. So I went to have a look, and who should I see there but Dempsey? Peace and black, and that ape of a chauffeur. They had an oriental backup team of two and were about to tear my head off, but I gave them the slip. I'm going like a bat out of hell down Cricklewood Broadway with the ape and the roller up my tailpipe. I think Dempsey's with him. Over. Try and lose him. Get back to your flat and lie low. I'll get some of the boys around there right away. But I don't want Dempsey's cover blown. It's up to his backside and alligators as it is. Over. What about my backside? Over. Dempsey won't let anyone lay a finger on it, girl. Over. Really? Over? It's a zero for normal vision. And it's loaded. What's the number of the warehouse? What? You heard me. 747-8972. I don't understand. Understand this, mudface. Sit, stay. Stop following me like that. I'll call the police. I am the police. Very funny. Are you supposed to be trying to kill me? You guessed it. I presume you intend to fail. Complete my cover. Sorry, make peace. I'll have to kill you. What did she say? Who? Merle. She said we wait. We get her when she comes out. Maybe she won't come out. Maybe she goes out the back. Maybe we should go in. Maybe you should shut up.
make peace. I'm impressed. Harry? Harry. Hey, if you won Academy Award, you should have landed on your back. Is she dead? What do you think? Get a blanket, Chaz. Bullseye. Where the hell have you two been? Don't sweat it. It's done. He got her right there. Not only does he bring back the evidence, he gets himself a bonus, too. A bonus? Sure. There's $1,500 in that shirt. We must get it to the laboratory in Kilburn tonight. The meeting is scheduled for tomorrow. Sunday? Sunday in the city is as quiet as the grave. Amen to that. Chief Superintendent, can you tell us anything about a shooting here this afternoon? I can't say anything until the dead officers next of kin have been informed. Chief Superintendent, can you tell us when the dead officer's name will be released, sir? That's all, gentlemen. You anticipate an early arrest, sir? Thank you. Get me out of here. Detective Chief Superintendent Spikings to see you, Lord Winfield. Spikings, my dear chap, come in, come in. Abbott, take the Chief Superintendent's coat. Oh, it's all right, sir. I won't keep it. Nonsense, nonsense. Abbott, take his coat. Now, my dear fellow, what do you have to drink? Come to see me about Harriet, have you? Blotted her copybook, eh? I knew it had happened. Sit down, my dear fellow. Uh, Abbott, bring us a bottle of the Montrachet, that's a good fellow. No, there's really no need, sir. Haven't drunk it all, have we, Abbott, the Montrachet? I believe that there is uh, a bottle left, sir. Oh, God, have we drunk it all? I'm afraid that we have, sir. Very well. Can't leave just one. They don't keep so well on their own. I take it, Lord Winfield, that you haven't seen the television this evening. Television? No, I don't think we've got one. Never seen one about. I believe Abbott has one downstairs. Why do you ask, old chap? Something good on? I sometimes go down to Abbott's room if there's something good on. No, sir, it, it's not that. Dinner. Sir? Have dinner with me. Abbott always does for two. He thinks I don't know. He tells me he has a sandwich or something. You must think I'm soft in the head. Bloody fool. Abbott? Abbott! Lord Winfield, I'm afraid I have something serious to tell you. It's about your daughter. Schwartz. I've been waiting for you to call, Mr. Schwartz. I understand you made contact with the seller some days ago. Have you got the merchandise? Sure have. We'll meet early next week, then. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's too soon. I need more time. There is no more time. Here's where we meet. I didn't know you were a Mozart fan. That, I'll have you know, is the theme from Odile Magdalene. By Mozart. Let's see if we're going to mention all the news. Robin Houston reporting. In London tonight, an officer of the Plain Clothes Division of the Metropolitan Police was shot dead. The identity of the officer is being withheld until the next of kin has been informed. The economic summit in. Incidentally, how did Daddy take the news of my death? With a Havana in one hand. And a Scotch in the other. Irish. Yes, I forgot. Always Irish. Followed by terrine, cold salmon and new potatoes. And a bottle of Montrachet. Slightly chilled. Mm -hmm. Well, it's good to know that austerity is still biting hard in Eaton Square. So, 
While I was being rather unceremoniously bundled out of the back of Hammersmith Mall, you were having a gay old time with the old man. And a bottle of the family's best Montrachet. The last bottle? But of course. Here we are. It's not exactly the Ritz, but it's home. Sort of. Do you live alone, sir? It may appear to the outside world, Sergeant, that I'm centerfold for Playgirl, but no. There is the redoubtable Mrs. Spikings. She won't mind my staying. I'm always pitching up. Oh, good company. Did you see him? Sir, it's only Dempsey. What are you doing here? Well, there was this news flash and some blood on a t shirt. It was steak. Adds authenticity. Were you concerned? Yeah, I thought my aim was off. What's the deal? Tomorrow, 8 a.m., I set up with this chick, Lei Shan. Lei Shan? She's the front for the money. You know, there's about 1,500 bucks worth of heroin in every t shirt. They'll be processed by midnight tonight. And where's it to be, this meat? Stevens Warehouse in Wapping. Won't be. Whatever. Dempsey seems to me to be very much in the minority if anything goes wrong tomorrow, sir. Yes, make peace. Well, sir, I've got an idea. No, make peace. It may just give us the edge. No, make peace. It would double our chances. Just what I'm afraid of. Besides, you're supposed to be dead, remember? I'd get some sleep if I were you. You don't say a hell of a lot, do you? Have it your own way. He's a mute. You don't say. You're late. Where have you been? I checked out the warehouse, make sure it was OK. I'm impressed. And? It's OK. And what about me? I'm impressed, but tired. You don't know what you're missing. I can guess. I really don't think you can. Night, Merle. It would have been the beginning of a beautiful friendship. What the hell are you doing here? I shinned up the drain pipe. But if I'm cramping your style, I can always shin down again. Do it. I'm impressed, but tired. In a minute, Chaz. None of those cardboard sausages. Any sign of Makepeace? <clears throat> Not Pete. She's up to something. I hope she doesn't screw up the year's work that's gone into this. Who made this? Like Alpine? All right. I'm going downstairs for a shower, a shave, and a shish kebab. How many we got of whopping? Eight when we get there, Guff. Uh huh. And the lab killed them? Four. Two at Hanover Terrace, six units are in cars, and that's it. Any wooden tops on it? No. Road police? No, Gov. Just as well. They sniff something interesting. They'll be up and down on that river like a fiddler's elbow. Mind the shop.
Davros has just left. Yeah, he's going for the stuff. Right on. The Karin's already at the warehouse. Yeah, it's just you and me and the Black Widow. Shall we go? What's going on? Who's this? This is my partner, Detective Sergeant Makepeace. You remember her. So tired. Stay here. I'll check out the place. Bro? around here somewhere. Open the doors. Get the stuff.
Be on your guard. I don't trust Merle. And leave Schwartz to me. as it came from the bank in bundles of tens and twenties, non-sequential and used. It's all there, Mr. Schwartz, if you want to count it. Schwartz. Whoever you are, put that back in the car. Davros, you heard her. I'll find you and I'll kill you. Believe it.
Come on. The party's over. Make peace. Have you thought about a career in teaching? Politics. The space program. You know, they're sending women to the moon these days. Mm -hmm.